Look what we took off the house site. Let me show you the footprint. They say an eco-friendly house can't be built in 150 days for $150,000, and I say it can. I'm Alan Smith. Join me as I push the limits with time, budget, and creativity with the Garden Home Challenge, exclusively on eHow Home. Well, as you can see, we're moving right along, and for the first time, you can see the actual footprint of the house. Looking pretty good, isn't it? I'm actually standing on what will be the front porch out here, and I'm gonna step through the front door into the house. And what we have here is a house that's 40 feet long, and we have 26 feet coming down on the side, and we come across 26 feet. What we notch out here in the middle, we go out eight feet and then 16 feet along that south face. So this will be a notch that'll be covered over the roof. You'll see it a little later in the show. But what's happened today is that we've been moving rocks we got all the rocks out of here. Uh, Tony and the guys graded this off, so we've got a nice smooth pad. And if you look down here, you can see we've got some pretty good soil. Now it's been graded off, but <laughs> don't be fooled. Right under this is solid rock. So we've got a thin layer of this, and I'm gonna have to deal with the erosion issues fairly soon here. You can see we've pushed everything down here to the end, the tops of the trees, we've got also, um, some of the stumps and things like that. We tried to keep as much topsoil here as we possibly can. We've got the pine logs stacked up over here on this end. So you can see we've got the house pretty well positioned. You can see the lot is only 50 feet wide, so we cleared just the minimum number of trees that we needed to. Now come up here, I wanna show you something important. So look right here, you can see we've probably harvested, I guess probably four tons of rock. That looks dusty right now, but when the rain hits that, it's really got a beautiful color to it. And we'll put this rock to work. I'm not sure where we'll use it. We won't use it on the house, but we'll probably use it somehow in the garden or help control erosion somehow. But I like to save everything we can off the site. Then if you look over here, just take a look at all this timber that came off of it. Now they're not huge logs, but these pine logs be able to go to the sawmill. We'll be able to cut this lumber out. We'll either use it directly on the house or I'll trade it out with my buddy with something that he's got that we can use, but we just didn't want these logs to go to waste. What we have here are about 40 logs that are about, well, at least 16 feet long. So these look great, I'm excited about this. Now come over here, just wanna show you something we had to do in order to get started. And it's something, if you start a construction project, you always need to call one call in your state and they come out and they mark where the utilities are. And you can see we've got this white marking paint. They typically use white marking paint and here's the line of the utility right here, all the way down. They'll come down to your site within 48 hours after you call them. And the key here is you don't want to get into any utilities and they don't want you to either because you could really cause some problems. So that's why it was important for us to get these buried power lines marked before we got out here with any kind of heavy equipment. As you can see, we're making some sweet progress. We've got the footprint of the house coming along. If you're enjoying following us, tell a friend and make sure you subscribe to the eHow Home channel.